Hello, Scorpio. This is your love read. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your inspiration, your guidance, your wisdom, protection, and for most of all, for your presence. We're going to dive right in here. I hope everybody's doing well. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a love read. Cross watchers are welcome. These are general readings. If you do not resonate with something, please leave it for those who would resonate with it. Uh, also, I want to thank you guys for your support um, for our channel. Uh, the more likes, shares, subscribes, that kind of thing, it grows the channel. YouTube picks up the algorithm and... The messages that come from the divine get out to people that need to hear them. Okay, without further ado, Scorpio, what does spirit have for you concerning your love life? Scorpio, please. Thank you, angels. Thank you, gods. What can you give us for our Scorpios today? Thank you, angels. Thank you, gods. Okay, these cards. <laughs> there we go. I think that's it, Scorpio. We've got two coming out to start out with. Okay. Messages in love here. Be graceful in movement and action. And we've got unlock the magic within. Okay. Um, a couple people have gotten this already. And kind of the message that I'm getting that I need to pass on here is that when you give something up to the divine, oh, you've got cards already coming out, Scorpio. When you give something up to the divine, okay, instead of claiming possession over it, like get out of your ego, um, you, you kind of, it, it helps you bring back your power because it's not a possessive ego thing. It gets you out of your ego, which gets you into your true power. So just a thought. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Sun, remind, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for love. This is a love read for Scorpio. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Oh, pull that one out. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. What do you have for Scorpio? All right, we're going to start with these. This was the first one out. Wow, Queen of Cups energy. Okay. That's amazing. All right. If you're with somebody. Okay. I, I feel like this is your energy right now. So if, you, if you're with somebody, this is the energy that you are bringing. We'll do, you know, a further clarification to see what uh, your person is like. But this is the energy that you are bringing in here. Okay. It's, it's balanced. Um, you know, you're completely open to love here. There's a flow. Okay. We've got the Page of Wands. We've got the Seven. I hope you guys can see here. We've got the Page of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Swords. And we've got the Nine of Wands. Okay. Okay. So, Scorpio, I see that um, you've kind of gone through, you know, some struggles here. Maybe not in the recent past, but in the past, okay? Um, we have a lot of energy, heavy energies coming in with these portals opening. We've got the full moon in Aquarius coming up. Um, what I'm saying here is, you know, you need to continue to keep processing, okay? And understand your true power here, okay? I, I don't feel like, I, I feel like you're almost through this. Okay, and that you just need to keep moving forward here. Okay, use these, you know, these moons and these portal, you know, use this energy to take some time to let go of what no longer serves you. Get out of your head here. Notice there's an opening here. They could come out. Okay, for some of you that are, you know, through this, um, I'd like to also say that these swords could be lessons that you've learned through this process. This is root chakra energy. Okay. These were whatever was going on with you, whether it was for some of you, it might've been the death of a family member or somebody close to you. Uh, for some of you, it could have been, you know, um, an ending in a relationship or a partnership. 
something has made you grieve okay and it was an, it was brought to the surface these all this stuff is being brought to the surface for you to level up okay to be ready and i'm you know i'm feeling that this is your energy so i feel like you've done a lot of the work already you just need to keep going and this is just a reminder you know perhaps of where you've been and how far you've come which is really important okay okay and scorpios you know be graceful in movement and action you can use your stingers and and you know hurt people sometimes without even realizing it so this is a reminder here as you move forward i feel like some of you are coming into a really exciting path here um we've got the page of wands i think you're starting new projects it's going you know it's it's already the nine of wands here okay like it goes straight from the page to the nine i feel like you've been waiting for a while for some of these things to start and it's going to be really successful this is the tree of life okay um seven of pentacles is not a bad start all right let's get some clarification um this is a love reading for Scorpio okay for some of you these wands I feel like you know these are way too many cards thank you um I think you're gonna have a lot of opportunity I think that um your opportunities I think are gonna come in from work and what I'm talking about is love opportunities here what can you tell Scorpio in guidance in love and relationships please thank you angels thank you guys okay it's clear and concise today for you scorpio i have other signs like five and six cards were popping out at a time yeah we've got the ace of pentacles here <clears throat> i feel like this venture that you're doing is going to be a huge success this was brought by the divine for you we've got the queen of swords and we've got the ten of cups Okay, um, I feel like, you know, this is your energy here from this situation. You learned your lessons. You're sitting on your throne. But I think you're still very wary. Like at the drop of a hat, she could use that sword and like cut somebody's head off if she wanted to. Right? Um, so I think that, you know, lends to be grateful and be graceful in movement in action is kind of to balance that it's okay to have good boundaries okay um but you want to understand if you still have some raw emotion it's it's time to process that and be aware of how you're speaking to other people that's what i'm hearing and we've got the ten of cups here i really feel like um that through your work you're harvesting here you've done a lot of hard work i feel like this has been years this could you know even be over like eight or nine years right ten years even okay some something you've been working on whether it's spiritually soul work you know things like that but this is coming into fruition and this is going to bring you into this ten of cups energy here with a partner if you want okay like we have free will. Some of you might not be interested in a relationship right now. Okay, but this is a love reading. I feel like this is going to come from your harvest and, and your success. And this is a confirmation that it's coming in from the divine. Okay, this was a divine gift putting all this stuff together here. I'm going to grab another deck here. Get confirmation and clarification. Okay, I'm going to read on the Ten of Cups, please, for Scorpio. This is a love read on the Ten of Cups, but can you give us a little bit of clarification, Spirit? Thank you, guys. Thank you, angels. Okay, too many cards there. We've got one card that's coming out. Let's try again. Can you give us some clarification for Scorpio on the Ten of Cups, please? Scorpio in love, the Ten of Cups. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. Some clarification, please. Scorpio okay this was the first card to come out wow we've got the eight of wands okay eight of wands into nine of wands I think they're showing you it's a progression here I love these cards look how beautiful that is look how the light is just shining they're all lit up okay and again I think this is leading you into your ten of cups 
you might meet this person while you're doing your harvesting of these projects, right? While the, while the success is coming in, you could meet this person. We've got the Seven of Swords, okay? Um, they're still ready on the, on the horizon here, looking for trouble, looking for messages like, hey, uh, this could be a past person. This could also be what your person is going through. We have a lot of uh, twin flames reuniting right now. Soulmates, um, you know, there's a lot of completion of cycles. So if you've been separated and um, this could be what your person is going through right now, what you have already gone through. Okay. So you've got the seven, which is being wary, looking out, ready for battle. Okay. You've got your messengers here that are sounding the alarm. Okay. And then we also have the Nine of Swords. Notice um, notice the one white bird here. That's the divine kind of spreading light onto this darkness. For some of you, I think you really went some through, you know, major grieving period. Okay? And I believe this has a lot to do with your emotions surrounding that. Okay? Or your person might be going through this right now. I think you guys are going to come out. This is a, I think it's going to be kind of, this is a balanced relationship. Okay. All right. Um, you could also meet this person at a party that has to do with celebration of whatever this is. Okay. And yeah, we've got the emperor here. Okay. Which I believe is your person's energy. Again, there is no gender in Tarot. I actually just got a new deck today that has no gender. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to start using that for the full moon readings uh, because it, it really takes a lot of the energy out, okay? Like, you know, the, the discriminatory energy, if you want it that way. Um, but this would be the Divine Masculine, okay? And you're coming in with, a, uh, you know, Queen of Cups energy, Okay, the emperor is kind of above the queen of cups. They're, they're going to be a little bit more stable. Maybe they've processed this and I feel you're a little bit more raw and that's fine because that's where you are. And it's a reminder to be authentic. This is telling you to be authentic, speak your truth, but also recognize where you are. Okay, I'm going to do a quick reading here. Can you give us some insight? for Scorpios in love, please. Insight for Scorpios in love for themselves, please. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Some insight for Scorpio in love for themselves. Wow. Nothing is coming out here. Some insights for moving forward in their process. Some guidance, please. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Okay. Okay, so to move forward in your process here, we have Clematis, intelligent and intelligence, excuse me, and mental beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. It's an Oliver Wendell Holmes quote. Okay. Wisdom is the abstract of the past. I think you've gained a lot of wisdom here. You've come into this Queen of Cups energy. Beauty is the promise of the future. Okay, and it doesn't, you know, the original meaning of the word beauty and beautiful was not about somebody's looks. It was about their soul. Okay, so this is soul beauty. You got your wisdom. Now you can kind of calm down and really appreciate and, and value not only yourself, but things out in the world that are just absolutely beautiful, right? You've got lilac, first emotions of love. Love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat, Ben Hat. Okay, basically that means that love has a way of pulling us out of our own head. <laughs> okay, for, for good or for not, right? Uh, and then we have sweet William. Gallantry, grant me a single smile. Sweet William. Oh, wow. Hold on. This is hard to read. Sweet William Small has form and aspect bright. Like that sweet flower that yields great Jove delight. Okay, this is a promise here. 
that this is just going to be, you know, it's going to be beautiful. Okay? First emotions of love. I mean, what a dance. Okay? It's going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm going to move all this kind of aside. Um, I'm going to pull just a couple cards on your emperor. And then um, I might pull it into the extended. This is really succinct, Scorpio. Some of the other readings I've done have been like really long and, you know, yours are just popping right out. Very succinct message here. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. What do we have for Scorpio concerning the emperor? What can you tell me? Thank you. Okay. Uh, we got the lovers as a confirmation card. Okay. So, you know, you're pulling this divine feminine energy. Again, there is no gender. If you're recognized as a masculine, okay, you've worked on your feminine energy. You've worked on your emotions and you've brought it up to queen level. So spiritually, emotionally, you've dealt with, with what you need to deal with. You're at that queen level. You're ready for love. You've processed. You might be a little raw still, okay, but you're ready. All right. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a confirmation card. We've got the sun. Um, for people that want to get married, um, you know, that's an option. If you want to have children, that's an option. Adopt, things like that. That's definitely going to be an option for you. Okay. We also have the nine of wands. Okay, for some of you, um, you're kind of in your head, you're tired, okay, you have this harv to harvest over here, okay, like this stuff has grown really well, right, it's stable, it's straight, it's all lined up, but you're battered, you've been overworking yourself, you know, whatever that is for you that has made you feel this way, it's about recognizing that and giving yourself time to rest and recharge, Okay, um, this could also be a person. I have a feeling that, you know, this is kind of, um, your person has kind of been going through some stuff too. Okay, they're going to be happy to be just as patient as you are, that you need to be. Okay, um, part of being in a mature relationship is realizing where that other person is and, and being able to ask for the space and hold the space. Ask the space for yourself respectfully. And give that space when it's asked by that other person. Right? Okay. Um, yeah, we've got the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like this is going to be a balancing out to the situation. And we also have the Three of Pentacles. Um, you know, he's working here. We've got, you know, the Three, which is Divinity. Okay? Trinity, excuse me. Um, and this is like doing work in the community. Okay, um, and I really feel like that's how you're going to possibly meet this person. Okay, and it's, it's going to balance out. You know, this is going to be having to do with work or some kind of volunteer work or some kind of community thing. Um, and I feel like um, both of you have been really wary and, you know, you've been holding a balance, but you've been careful about you know, what you're putting out into the universe, like what, what you're letting in. Okay. For some of you, I feel like whatever situation you were in, you were, you were actually one of these two, you were like begging for attention and stuff like that. And that is not what you need or where you need to be. All right. Um, I hope this has been helpful. This has been really quick. I am going to do a, a short extended because pretty much everything is out here. I'm going to pull some cards on. I'm going to take these two into the extended. But to end this out here for you, Scorpio, I'm just going to pull some um, affirmation and manifestation cards here. What can you get for Scorpio about their relationship, their love relationship situation, please? Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. What can you give for Scorpio to help them in their love relation? Oh, wow. These cards are sticking to help them in their love relationship, to give them some insight about how to move forward. Wow. In a really balanced way. Give me a second here. Okay. 
I'm also getting that somebody's throat chakra is kind of tight too. Got to learn how to speak your truth with grace. Right, move for, forward in grace. Okay, but I feel like somebody, somebody, um, somebody might need to have a conversation at some point. That page of wands that was coming in, um, I, again, this is a past person. Um, I would not go seeking it unless you are the person that maybe needs to apologize or something. Okay, to clear it out. Um, but I feel like for somebody, you might want to expect like a message or something coming in. Um, and I feel like it's going to be something kind of stupid. Okay. Like something just to test the waters with you to see, to see where you're at. Just so you know. Quotes to meditate on. The human mind has the potential for infinite development. If you can discover even in a small way, the true satisfaction comes from your mind mindset, right? You will realize that you can extend this experience without limit and that it is possible to discover everlasting satisfaction. Change your mindset. I am the architect of my life. Okay. It's about shifting your mindset, unlocking the magic within, like getting back into your power, Scorpio. Okay. So that you can move forward with graceful movement that is normally yours we are all one for those of you dealing with somebody that I, I feel like you really went through it you have to remember that they're on their own journey too you might not agree with what they've done okay but you have to respect their journey okay when you check your own mind properly, you stop blaming others for your problems. You recognize that your mistaken actions come from your mind defiled from, oh, excuse me, you recognize, <laughs> you recognize that your mistaken actions come from your own defiled, deluded mind. Okay. Again, this is all about mindset here. Okay. Let the universe take care of it. Okay. Let the universe take care of it. You focus on what you're supposed to be doing, okay? And know that you've got all this abundance coming. And that you, you're, you're, you know, you're pulling in an emperor here, okay? And for those of you that might already be in this relationship, okay? This is validation that you guys are coming into a harvest season, Okay, it's going to grow gradually. We went from, you know, the eight to the nine, right? It's going to bring you success. It's divinely given and you're popping into your 10 of cups. And again, we got the marriage card here. So don't be surprised if you're in a relationship right now with an emperor that, you know, you might get a marriage proposal. Okay, hope this has been helpful, Scorpio. Take good care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be kind out there. I am going to pull this right here and pull it into just a real quick extended reading for you. Um, and I might pull one of the past cards too, just to see if I can give you some more insight on what's going on in that situation. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help us grow our channel, fam. Take care.